This tutorial is on provincial and federal sales tax amounts. And this table lists all the uh, different types of taxes for all the 10 provinces and three territories. And so um, some of them have uh, both uh, a provincial amount and a federal amount. Notice that the federal amount is a straight 5% for every single province and territory. So some provinces and territories have provincial or territorial sales taxes and some don't. So for example, Alberta doesn't have a provincial tax. They just have the 5% GST, so their total will be 5%. British Columbia, on the other hand, is a, has a provincial tax rate of 7% and a, a, a GST or a federal tax rate of 5% and 7 to 5 at 12. So that's how much sales tax you're paying on lots of items in British Columbia. In Ontario, for example, uh, this is called the Harmonized Sales Tax, the HST. So there's a provincial tax of 8% and a uh, federal tax of 5%, that's actually called the GSD, but together they make the one tax amount of 13%. And so uh, that's what the HSC, you see a lot of uh, provinces and territories have uh, agreements with the government to charge this one harmonized sales tax of, uh, of uh, 13% or uh, in PEI for example, their provincial rates a little higher, so 10 and 5 add to 15%, that's how much you're paying there. And uh, in this example uh, on the next page here, it says calculate the cost of HST in Ontario for each of the following. So a pair of shoes is bought at $92.99. So we, for Ontario, it's a 13% harmonized tax rate. So we take the $92.99 and multiply it by 0.13, that's a 13%, and we get, now this is the calculation in my calculator, uh, we're rounding to cents, so that would round to nine. Um, that's the cent point. So if we look at the next digit, that's an eight, so it makes it round to nine. So it'd be twelve dollars and nine cents. Of course, uh, now depending upon whether you're paying with a debit card, credit card, or cash, cash there aren't any pennies anymore. So uh, if it was cash, then they would charge you twelve dollars and ten cents. So the HST is twelve dollars and nine cents, or twelve dollars and ten cents if you were paying cash. Uh, carpet at eight ninety five per square meter, and you're buying twenty square meters. So we have to find the cost of the carpet before we can add any tax. So we take the eight ninety five and multiply it by twenty because there's twenty eight ninety fives here, and that's one hundred seventy nine dollars. So then we want to find the tax on one hundred seventy nine dollars. So we multiply it by 0.13 and we get twenty three dollars and twenty seven cents. So that would be the amount of tax. And we're all, you're always rounding to the nearest five cents. So if you were paying cash, then that would round to 25 cents because 25 cents is the nearest five cents. In the uh, second example, it says determine the after-tax price, price for each item above. So the shoes, we would take the 92.99 and we would add in this $12.09 tax, $12.09 tax. So if we add those together, 9 to 9 is 18, so we carry the 1, 1 and 9 adds a 10, carry the 1, 2, 2, and that 1 would be 5, and 9 and 1 adds to 10, so it would be $105.08. But again, if you were paying cash, um, you would be paying $105.10 here, because that's the nearest 5 cents. For the carpet, uh, $179, and we're going to add in this $23.27. So if you add those together, the after-tax cost would be $20.27, but again, if you're paying cash, you would round that to $0.25. Cents. Now, I do want to show you something here uh, with my calculator. If you're, you're basically, for the tax, you're adding 13%, or if you're in a different province, it might be uh, 15%, for example, or 5% or if you're in Alberta, for example. So if you're adding... 13% to something is like taking the original original amount, that's the one here, and adding 13% to it. So you're actually paying like 113% of the original price. That's adding 13% on. So I want to show you a shortcut for doing these. So for example, the shoes here, if we take the $92.99 and you multiply that by 1.13, there's the after-tax price right there. And again, of course, this uh, that's the cents place, so that 8 would make it round up to uh, 8, so $105.08. 
for the carpet over here, the 179, again, if we want to add 13% on, we multiply by 1.13. And so there's the 202.27 right there. So that's a shortcut if you want to just find the final tax price after tax price. If you need to know the tax amount as well, then you need to, do, need to do both steps. Do this and then add it on afterwards. So flipping over to the last example, it says calculate the PST and GST amounts for the purchase of a used car valued at $7,850 in Manitoba. So I, I duplicated a bit of that table here. Manitoba has a separate GST and PST. The provincial rate's 8%. And the, the GST or the Canada rate is 5%, totaling 13. Um, so that 13 cent is, percent is the same as what we just did for the uh, past example. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, if you're actually making up a receipt for someone in Manitoba, you need to show the two different amounts. So we start with the purchase price of 78.50. And so to calculate the GST, the uh, Canada rate, we want to find 5% of that 78.50. So, again, this is what it would look like, 78.50 times 0 0.05. So, and see, that's 50 cents. So you have to put the zero there because it's money. Okay. And for the PST then, the provincial sales tax is 8%. So we would take our calculator and do the same thing except with 8% instead of 5. And that's an even $628. And then of course we add the two of those together. So 70, or sorry, the three of those. 7850 plus the 39250 plus the 628. And so the total after tax price would be that value. So that's the same thing I got here a moment ago. And again, uh, if you wanted to do that shortcut I showed you, if you take, see, if you want to just know the after tax, adding on 13% price, if we multiply that by 1.13, there's the exact same value. So, so that's how you calculate taxes: provincial, GST, PST, whatever it is. And that's the end of the tutorial.